Is India ready for subcutaneous subcutaneous apomorphin infusion for Parkinson's disease? This paper was presented at Asian and Oceanian pa- Congress for Parkinson's and Movement Disorders Society held between March 17th and 19th in Calcutta, India. Apomorphin infusion therapies is available globally for last about 25 to 30 years and currently available in India since 2019 onwards. In last 3 years there have been lot of ups and downs in utilization of apomorphin in India due to various reasons. The current study is trying looking into a clinical audit of patients who has received apomorphin infusion therapies in one single stead- center over last 3 years. These apomorphin infusion therapies were based upon utilization of Rusan pharmaceutical pumps and Ever Pharma pumps. The study was a clinical case record audit of patients with Parkinson's disease who were on apomorphin infusion pumps between May 2019 to October 2022. There were in total 23 patients who were on apomorphin infusion pump therapies which included 11 men and 12 female with a mean age of 61 years with a range of 45 to 78 years and a mean duration of parkinson disease being 8.5 years with a range of 1 to 22 years the primary indications for apomorphin infusion therapy was motor fluctuations and or disabling dyskinesias in 20 patients and suboptimal benefits following deep brain stimulations in 3 patients among these 23 patients four discontinued the therapy within 1 month of initiation of pump therapy due to varied reasons including worsening of autonomic dysfunction in one lack of social support in one suboptimal benefit in one and discomfort of carrying pump in one hence for further analysis only the remaining 19 patients were analyzed those who were on subcutaneous apomorphin infusion pump therapy for at least for a month and above Among the 19 patients who were on apomorphin infusion therapies for over a month the mean apomorphin infusion was 47 plus or minus 16 mg per day with a range of 28 to 54 mg per day with a mean flow rate of 3.6 plus or minus 1.6 mg per hour on an average most of the patients apomorphin infusion for 12 to 16 hours in a day a visual analog scale was used to assess the clinical subjective benefits of apomorphin infusion therapies in these patients this visual analog scale had a score of 0 being worst bar no benefit to 10 being having a very good benefit with apomorphin infusion which was recorded during their last consult among this among the 19 patients two patients had a score of 4 out of 10 three had a score of 6 out of 10 four had a score of 7 out of 10 eight had a score of 6 out of 10 3 had a score of 9 out of 10 and 1 had a score of 10 out of 10 overall most of the patients had a score range between 5 to 10 with the average being around 7 hence overall indicating that most of the patients had a good subjective clinical benefit or utilization with apomorphin infusion therapies During the course of therapies these patients did have 
various ev- events these included weight loss in two patients drowsiness in three patients dyskinesias in seven patients and slightly prominent skin nodules in nine patients among these 19 patients seven patients discontinued apomorphine infusion during the course of their management and these included one three patients at 6 months of 6 months after the therapy one patient after 9 months two patients at the end of a year and one patient at after 2 years that is after 24 months the reasons for discontinuation in these seven patients were weight loss in one financial constraint in one personal choice in one suboptimal benefit in three and one patient underwent dbs and hence discontinued apomorphine infusion therapy among all these patients over the duration currently there are five patients who are on csai therapy for more than a year or so which includes two patients who have been receiving apomorphine pump therapy for 3 years that is from 2019 onwards one patient each at 20 months and 12 months each to conclude overall based upon the experience of apomorphine infusion therapy since its inception in 2019 in india we can fairly tell that most of the patients have decently good benefits with clinically significant improvement in their motor fluctuations and improvement in quality of life yes dropouts are common and most of these dropouts are related to various reasons including suboptimal benefits financial constraints and some people choosing alternative advanced therapies such as dbs overall we can comfortably tell that apomorphine in indian patients work good and patients tend to have good clinical benefits in long duration we hope that future further longer studies do give better insights of apomorphine infusion therapies in indian context thank you for listening to this small overview of our experience of utilization of apomorphine pump therapy from india